I had always loved the movie Frankenstein, and I really thought that the monster was the good guy. He didn't want to hurt anybody. He just wanted to be left alone. But those idiots with torches kept chasing him up and down the hills and through the countryside, and he always had my sympathy. I had also always loved Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And I said, what if my monster could be a guy like Dr. Jekyll, and when he becomes the monster, that's like Mr. Hyde. So I thought psychologically we could have fun with that story-wise, the, the the two entities of this one person, and they both hate each other and would like to destroy each other. The Hulk is a, a guy. That kind of a lost soul, he has no connection, doesn't remember where he came from, and he's basically searching for someone to like him, to be nice to him. That he's an okay guy. Stan walked in, and in his take on superhumans, he paid way more attention to the human than the super. He made the characters real. He made them feel like people who you knew. They were your friends, they were your neighbors. And suddenly people got emotionally invested in this and they cared about it. And I think what Stan did was make really humanistic superheroes. One of the things that, that I've learned from Stan is what's really important is not Spider-Man. It's the guy in the Spider-Man costume. It has to be about Peter Parker. Peter Parker was supposed to be every man or every young man with all the um, conflicts and uh, uncertainties and confusions that any young man has. Peter Parker is your, your normal kid from Queens who's a bit socially awkward, has girl problems, they have money problems. I tried to put him in the real world and give him the kind of things that regular readers could relate to. I mean, he'd have, an in, he'd have ingrown toenails, his costume would tear while he was fighting. It was very easy for me to identify with Peter Parker because all I had to do was think of a lot of things that happened when I was young. For example, I might have a big date with a girl that I really liked and wouldn't you know I'd have an allergy attack at that night. I'd be sneezing all over the place. Or there'd be another girl that I really wanted to make an impression on. I'd take her out to dinner and then on the way home I realized I didn't have enough money for a cab. And you could imagine the great impression it would make on a date if you have to take a home in a crowded subway. So it was not too hard for me to come up with things for Peter Parker. I just had to think of the things that happened to me. 